to the shack. My name's Barbara Gray from Clarity here in the UK. And um, yeah, it's 10 o'clock in the morning nearly on a Monday. And the weather is spiteful in the southeast of England. What's it like where you are? Anybody there apart from me? Uh, Jilly's in the uh, building with you today to give you any support or answer any questions that you've got. Perhaps Jilly would be good enough just to let me know that the sound is good. Uh, yeah, we'll let our friends join us. The weather is awful here. It's very, very cold, windy and wet. Cold, windy and wet. In fact, I was just talking to Dave and he said that the, the moon, the full moon, um, I think it was on Saturday, the February full moon, it's, norm, it's got two names. It's either called the snow moon because it's so cold or um, the hungry moon or the hunger moon, interesting. And the reason for that is, of course, um, because it's largely down to the scarcity of food in the, um, you know, at the end of the winter. So that's quite interesting, isn't it? We've had a hungry moon or a snow moon. And, um, and apparently it's raining, um, it's biblically, it's a, we've got the most rainfall in February on record since records began. Well, do you know what? I could have told them that. <laughs> Even in my 65 years, I've never known rain like it. It's just persistent, isn't it? It's persistently persisting. Hmm. Say that when you've had a show, but. Anyway, come on in. The good news is that when the weather's like this, aren't we lucky that we're crafters? We've got loads to do, loads to um, loads of projects on the go, haven't we? What projects have you got on the go at the moment? Hmm? Where's my tea? You rock. Come on in. Shut the door. It's really drafty. Um, the heating's on. The kettle's just boiled. Biscuits on the plate over there. Yeah. How is Dave? Jackie, not good. To be fair, he's in bed. That's why I'm working from home this morning. And uh, straight after the shack, we've got a, an emergency hot, um, appointment at the osteopath. So we'll go and see if he can sort him out. He's really good. He's, we've always used him. He's our family osteopath because my brother, he has a history of bad backs. I do. Dave does. So, yeah. And... Um, yeah, and so Paul, he's taking a day off as well because his partner is really ill. And so he spent the night at the hospital. And um, yeah, so uh, it never rains, but it pours, eh? It never rains, but it pours. So yeah, what's going on, eh? What is going on? No art class today, so can watch live. Well, nice to hear that. You have your own little personal private art class here. Speaking of art classes, I went uh, down to Brighton. You know, sometimes I go to that, the um, printmakers in Brighton. It's really cool. And um, so Jazz and I went down last Wednesday evening. It was superb. We, ha we learned so much. Jazz was so excited. On the way home, she said, um, it was lovely, really. She said, uh, I knew I'd enjoy it. I knew I'd love it, but I had no idea how brilliant it was going to be. Isn't that nice? So, so that was really cool. And we're going back this Wednesday. It's a two-week course. And that's a really good thing because you go the first week <clears throat> and you don't really figure out what you're doing until into hour three. Yeah. So now we know exactly what we're doing when we get there in hour one. That's fun. Yeah, so... As far as everything else goes, <clears throat> what can I say? This too shall pass. You know, this too shall pass. And a week from now, it will all look very different. It will all look very different. Don't know how it will look, but it will look different. So we take it one day at a time, don't we? And um, so we haven't had the, the shack for oh, a couple of weeks now because, of course, um, Dave and I went down to Cornwall um, to, see, to, to celebrate um, Pat Hoskins' life. Uh, with her family and that was pretty special in fact that was quite something and I've been power watching pole dark since I got back just because I I feel a connection with Cornwall and and I thought oh if I watch that series 
the countryside and the hills and you know the the, the Cornish those wild waters I thought yeah that's what I want to do I don't want to leave it quite yet so yeah that was really quite something and um so we did that um last weekend you know this time last week we were on our way back from Cornwall and um so it's it's quite it's quite hectic really for us old farts <laughs> running around. No wonder his back went. Poor old bloke. <laughs> Nearly called him something else. Then. Steady, Eddie. It's early towers. It's only ten o'clock in the morning. Yeah. So fortunately, the team at work are stepping into the breach, and um, I've sent Paul home when he gets out of the hospital to go and have uh, some sleep. Um, Jim's car packed up this morning, so he's had to turn around and go home. Uh, it's just, it's like that, isn't it? One thing after another. But Jilly is all over it, like, uh, like white on rice, as we say. Aren't you, love? Yeah, so she's, she's, uh, she was in at 5.30 this morning, letting the team in so that they could start picking and packing. Yeah, the orders are, are um, going out the door. They're piling out. And uh, Paul and Julie were in on Saturday and and several others as well. Sharon and I think Debbie McMullen was in on Saturday. There are quite a few people in on Saturday. Debbie, yeah, uh, Sharon, Julie, Paul. There was one other, I can't remember. But anyway, there were plenty of people in work and they got loads of orders out on Saturday too. So that's very good. That's the thing about that that half price member sale, as good as it is, um, it just takes as long as it takes, you know. But there we are, the sale AV, it will happen. There are lots more, far more important and crucial things going on at the moment around clarity, you know, with, um, with design team members and Jane's husband. He's turning the corner. I don't know if Jane's in the room with us, but I spoke to her last night and um, she updated me. But Colin is definitely back in the building. He's got a long way to go. There, I see her name, Jane. I just saw it. Yeah, it's Jane's in. Um, thank goodness that uh, Colin's turned the corner there. I'm here. I know you are, love. Good to have your company. And, um, yeah, Tina Morris, she in the building. Her mum's also doing pretty well. I spoke to her earlier this morning, you know. It, honestly, it is really extreme at the moment, you know. So we have to keep our balance, keep our head. Yesterday I did a little bit of doodling and um, and card making, actually, paper play. Sue was in too. Thank you. That was it. Sue, of course. Sorry, Sue. Love ya. Um, yeah, our Sue, front of house. Of course she was. I knew there was someone else. Cheers, Julie. Uh, yeah, so what a team, eh? They keep going. They keep going. Yeah, Christine and Morris, all here and present. Good to have your company, Christine. Glad your mum's doing better. Um, yeah, one thing after another, isn't it? But you know what? That's the way it is. That's the way it is. You know, life is life. And uh, it's not always a, a bowl of cherries or a chair of bowlies, is it? Um, but it's never, the, it's never the situation or the event. It's how we respond to it that will ultimately affect us. Affect us. So... At the moment, I feel I'm a bit of an onlooker, you know. It's not happening to me. It's happening to everybody, all my lovely, all my, all my really important friends and family. It's happening to them. You know, I'm just, I'm an onlooker. Be all right, though. You watch. A week from now, it'll all look very different. A week from now, it will all look very different. So we just keep smiling. And today... We start a new letter and it's D for dandelion. I know, as it was almost providence, it had to happen. And um, there are a couple of things I want, I must remember. Right, Pat, Pat's, let's call it um, uh, Pat's evening. Okay, we're going to have an evening. I must look, I'll think of an evening where we could get together. I know I spoke to Sarah, Pat's daughter, and she's going to send us um, Pat's shack project. And, um, and then we, I thought it would be really nice if her tribe 
us lot, the Shackers, if we have an evening together. And then we'll look at her lovely work. Okay? That's what we're going to do. <sighs> Tomorrow is another day. Absolutely, Carol Baker. So I've got to figure out an evening, and it will be probably a Thursday evening. It won't be this Thursday, because this Thursday I won't have the folder yet. But let's have a really, a really lovely evening, looking through her folder, taking a trip down memory lane. Yeah? I think that would be lovely, won't it? And today we're doing the dandelion. So what happened was, I thought first thing we've got to do is do the D. So I did the D and we're going to do the D. Have you got your tracing paper? Have you got your pencil? Have you got a bit of paper? Maybe a ruler. And we'll do the letter first. And then I just thought I'm going to travel gently and uh, I'll show you what we're going to do. But first of all, the letter. So let's just get our letter sorted. Okay. And then we'll crack on from there. So have you got, let's have a little recap, because we've done A, A for apple, B for, what do we do? Beach hut. Oh, the beach huts were great. And then last time we did C, what was C? C for crown. Of course we did, C for crown. And now we're going to do D for dandelion. So there's no, there's no connection between the things that we're drawing, but there is a connection with the alphabet. And it's really cool because it really helps give us some structure in this otherwise crazy life of ours, right? So you just know, okay, we'll come up with something that starts with D and we'll draw it. And then next time we'll come up with something that starts with exactly and we'll draw it. So you know exactly which letter comes after the letter D and F. And so there is a destination, you know, and it's, it, it's great to hang your hat, your arty hat on something that you know is coming. So that means that you can cut ahead. You could do your own alphabet. But first of all, let's do the letter and then we'll crack on. So the first thing I want to do, let's get a piece of copy paper. And let's start with the letter, so A. Now the A, it gave us our height, so they're all the same. And, and our centre row is a little bit more, so it's four centimetres instead, so it's seven top to bottom, and then four to the, to the top of the little letters, okay? So when we put B in place, if you look, B, See, is exactly the same height, same place. Then C, so they all work. See, so we get C. Ha! Did you get it? Right. See, so C C works as well. Right. I tell you what. Last night, pole dark. Oh, I've I've been really cramming the picture, uh, the the series. And last night was the night where um, Demel, he went and he went and visited Elizabeth and then Demelza flattened, she laid him out. Did, do you remember? I, I said to Dave, this was, the, this was the, this, the point in the series. I can remember back in, gosh, it was before lockdown, maybe 2019 or so, and we were all watching the series, weren't we? Pole dark. Do you remember? Oh, when he got his kit off with the scythe, I must dig that picture out where Ken put his head on, on Ross Boldark's shoulders. <laughs> Very good. Anyway, and so I remember all of us, all the girls, I think every woman in the UK on a Sunday night, Boldark, here we go again, right? And then he went and he, he made a big mistake. Do you remember when he found out that George wore legging was going to marry her? So he's gone running off to Elizabeth and then he, he, he forced himself upon her, right? And then he went back to the wife, <laughs> to Melza. Do you remember? She just flattened him. And I remember every woman in Britain was like, I can't even say the word, you horrible man, you, you husband, you, 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 
you naughty boy. Right. Began with a B, I think, what most of us called him. You naughty boy, we said, right? And then Demelza knocked him out and the whole of the female population in Britain went, yes! <laughs> I can remember it as if it was yesterday. It was hilarious. Does anybody remember what I... Oh, sorry, Lillian, if you didn't watch Pulled Up, spoiler alert. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was, oh, yes, and then, oh, no, and then, yay. Yeah, so, anyway, I'm I'm enjoying it. I'm enjoying it. It reminds me of Pat and her family. That's why I think I'm loving it. And the accent, yeah, it ain't friendly, it ain't nice, and it ain't fair. <laughs> Whatever. Right, so we've got A, B, C, and now we're going to go for D. D, there he is. Right, it's easy. Because what we need, first of all, with the D, let's go for the B, because the B looks like the D. The B looks like the D. And then probably be able to use the C as well. So this is where, as you go along, as you travel further into the alphabet, you start to use the letters that you've already got. So let's do this then. We're going to use a new piece of tracing paper. So put a bit of copy paper underneath it, yeah? And then we'll use, so this is the one that we're going to draw on. And then we'll pop B in underneath. Only, only cause, only because I need the height and the D, okay? I might might slide I might slide the C in there as well. So get yourself a pencil. You know, you know in the chat. We don't need anything except a pencil and a piece of paper. Tracing paper's handy. Right, you ready? So we're gonna do a D. So we'll use the same, let's use the same height here. Down we go. There you go. That's that. <laughs> Yeah, we're traveling gently today, folks. Right, and then we're going to do the D. So I reckon we could go... Oh, this one's only... Right, down we go like that. That's that. And now we've got to come round like that. So, D for dandelion. Let's have a look. We're going to go... We're going to go round like that. And then you can... You can air draw... See, let's have a look. You can air draw, and now you can change your D, can't you? If you want, you can make your D. So let's. Have, it's up to you now. You can make the D narrower like that, or you can make it more bold, rounder. See. So if you look at mine, I went out further. Do you see? I went out further. So the trick there is to grab your C. See. <laughs> Take your C and use that because that will definitely give you. So turn it over and you can you can transfer the how far do you want to go out? Look, you can go, you could just see what I'm doing. You can make your D as I'm gonna go, I think I'll go to there. Because if I if you squint at it, you can see the D. Or like that. That looks better. Yeah, I reckon that'll do. Right, so we'll go from there. I can always join up the rest afterwards. Let's see if this works. D. All right, let's have a look. Yeah, it doesn't transfer very well, though, does it, Gray, on the on tracing? Now, I wonder why that is, then. Because there should be should definitely be something on there. Let's go again. Oh, yeah, I can see it now. Okay, and then we'll go in again there. Press a bit harder. That'll do. So I've got my, my D, yeah, there. There. So you use what you've got in front of you there, like so. And then we can come round here. What have we got here? 
there you go see it's looking good right so turn that round go from there i reckon we're going to come up there like that you can always change it that's why we do it on tracing paper remember this is our template right that'll do okie dokie right a portly d yes it's a portly d right so that's my portly d there you go that'll do and then i can always fatten that up a bit down the bottom that's the thing about working in do you know what that's what it's all about working in pencil see and then there you go the b becomes a d just by turning it around so we'll just line that up I'll tell you what i will do just because i'm going to put the le the, the lines in just because they're useful they're useful even if you don't use them on the d they're going to be great there you go that'll do right so they're all the same height then otherwise we're going to lose the plot right d's easy it's just the reverse so just pop that in there and it's exactly the same as the b but back to front isn't it there you go piece of cake oh as soon as you say that gray <laughs> you go off <laughs> cool. <laughs> right. right, not such a piece of cake. Okay, that'll do. Right, so there you go. You've got your D ready to go. So, just to recap, yeah, I've got two Ds. 2D or not 2D? <laughs> I'll take D2. There you go. So, we've got D. Of course, you just put an A in there. Oh, look, we're starting to be able to spell now. Dad. Which A do we prefer? Oh, I like them both. See, that's exactly the same. Looks good. Look, Dad. And if you wanted to position them a bit tighter, then you just... So you see what I mean about now, about um, picking... You know, you're collecting your letters so that you can start to create your own artwork. And, and then you can make it smaller as well, can't you? You just have to change the scale and make a smaller alphabet if you want. Or you can just buy a set of stamps. And let's face it, this year at Clarity is the year of the alphabet. The, this month's um, alphabet is the, um, the word chain one, isn't it? I really like that. Maybe Jilly can put the, the, the link up for that particular alphabet. Very, very nice one. Even if I say so myself. Right, so we've got the letter down. Let's have a, let's have a little bit of tea. And while, I'm, while we're drinking our tea, have you got a piece of paper? Because I want to give you a couple of dates for your diary. Okay. So this week, what's coming up? Tomorrow, Tuesday, 10 o'clock. Thanks, Jilly. Um, at 10 o'clock, it's Paul in the shack. All things being equal. But we will see. Let's just assume that it's going to be okay. Okay. Pouring positive energy that way. And um, the universe will give us positivity back. So um, let's assume that Paul's going to be doing the shack tomorrow morning, Groovy Tuesday at 10 o'clock. That's the first thing. Second thing this week, on Thursday at 7 o'clock in the evening, it's me. 7 o'clock in the evening, it's me. And we're doing D for dandelions. Okay. So that'd be nice. And then on Saturday, now, this is unusual. On Saturday, we've got something very different, very special. It is so special, okay? We've been working on this project for months, <clears throat> and I've spent, we've spent a small fortune getting this one teed up. So, six o'clock in the evening, it's something very different for us, but it's really cool. I think you'll really like it. Six o'clock in the evening, uh, I'm launching a new uh, one-day special on Create and Craft. Um, and, and Debbie Shaw is going uh, to be my partner in crime on this one, which is great because she and I go back a long way. I really like Debbie. 
So, uh, and she's she's actually um, agreed to do all four of the ODS hours. So that's pretty special. Okay, so six o'clock in the evening, nine o'clock in the evening on Saturday. Are you writing this down? Uh, and then Sunday morning, 10 o'clock again, and then two o'clock again. That's that special project that we're, we've been working on. So has Jilly. Wait till you see what Jilly's done. It's fantastic. It's, it's the piece de resistance, as you would say. Mm -hmm. um, so that's, that's the ODS hours. And then straight from there, from two to three, then from three to five, I've got my usual two-hour show. Okay, so from three to five. So there's loads, loads of um, TV time there, lots of prep required. So I'm going to have to get my act together. <laughs> I nearly said arse in gear. I'm going to have to get my act together. It'll be fine. It always is. It always is. If I've learned anything in the last year or two, it's um, that there's no point in worrying because it will, a week from now, it'll be over. And then all the stress and ag <laughs> will have been, will have just made it uncomfortable rather than an adventure. You know, it's going to be fun. You know, and if I haven't if I haven't prepared to the nth degree, well, I'm with one of the best presenters in the business, and Debbie Shaw will cover me. You know, and we'll have fun. We always used to have a great deal of fun when we worked together back in the day. So, you know, I like her a lot. She's good company. So that'd be good, eh? Uh, right, come on. Let me show you what we're going to do. Again, traveling gently. And it's strange because I've got so much to do. And yet then I decide, you know, I'm going to start doing some, some artwork, some cards. So I did, um, I don't know if you saw on my blog yesterday, I really like this card. I was well chuffed. Do you ever make a piece of artwork and think, I really like that. That came out so well. So I did this one. Let me put it on a piece of white. I, I, I thought it just, you know, it tells you exactly where my head was. Keep calm and carry on. But I just thought, this is so nice. And it was using the little die that was in the Super Saver. It's, it's on, um, on our website as well, um, in a set or on its own. Um, and this little die, I ran through the machine on telly last week on Friday and, and then when I was tidying up, I found the black, it's just black. And then I took a few bits of paper. If you want to know how I did this, uh, barbaragrayblog.com. I did a step-by-step, -step, a photo step-by-step. -step. But in, in the end, all it is, if I put it up close to you, what you'll see is these are just pieces, these are strips of paper, scraps, right? And they're attached together um, with low tack masking tape on the back and then chopped up so the main piece here is covered with black there right but in effect all i've done is just flipped it to get that abstract but it's just three little bits of paper and they're just scraps i was really pleased with that anyway and the reason that i came up with that idea was because the day before i'd come up with that one which was the same again, so you've got like a split, because it's a big stamp, a uh, big die, that one. It's a big die. I think I've got it in here. Let's have a look. See? So you've got your floral forest, that one, and then you've got your floral flourish, <laughs> that one, but they're quite big. They're five by five inch, see? And I thought, God, that's quite a lot of flowers. So I split it up, and then I did the trick with the, the low tap masking tape. That's Saturday's blog. So isn't it weird how you, these are nice, four by fours as well. But isn't it funny how you got so much on your plate and then you just park it all and you say, do you know what? I need to defrag. Let me sort my head out. Let me just escape for a moment into paper play, you know, no stamps, no ink, just a little bit of paper play. And um, yeah, and then you, you kind of, you feel invigorated then to crack on. 
So I'll probably be doing more step by steps this week. And only because um, it for me, it's really good uh, therapy. It's a great way to just um, it's a bit of downtime, you know, it's not. And I can't worry. I can't be fretting. I'm not really that worried or fretting anyway. What will be will be. But it just means that I, I, I just redirect my thinking, which is exactly what the block, what this is all about, isn't it? What the shack is all about is about um, just parking anything outside the door. Don't worry about it. It's going to be there doing press ups in the car park, you know, just for an hour. Leave it where it is and just enjoy some paper play or some stamping or some art, you know. And then what you find is it's, it just gives your head a little, an opportunity just to kind of compartmentalise, I think, you know. It just needs to be filed and you need to shut down a few windows. I, I think often I've got so many windows open in my head like a computer. In the end, I don't know which one I'm looking at and I'll just go like a rabbit in the headlights. So by doing a little bit of artwork like this, it really works well because it um, it just gives me a chance. Look, these are nice as well, these little pieces. It just gives me a chance to um, not think about the issues. And see, so these are great. And you know what? If you don't, and I'm, I'm died, but you can actually use this. I, I thought this was quite nice as well, like a little pin board. See, because those bits, see, you can you can actually put them, and you could trim that and put the flower out there. See, it's quite good. You can you can mount this on on the craft card, and just do you know two tone, two tone. So. Yeah, so the point I'm making is that it doesn't matter what you do, although it's really cool when it works and you think, oh, that was nice, I love that, right? It's nice when you get a result. But it's the process. It's the process. And I'm figuring out that if I just don't worry about the outcome so much and just in, go with the flow and enjoy the process, that's when I find I'm getting the best work because I'm really focused on what I'm doing and I'm not focused on what it's supposed to look like at the end. <laughs> I don't know where that came from, but that's about the sum of it. So, friends, what I thought we'd do, with your permission, right, we're going to draw these because I just think they're lovely. They're just lovely and they're nice doodles. And I got up this morning and, you know, with everything going on at the moment, I thought, oh, I haven't got... I haven't got a better idea than this and I haven't got the time to have a better idea than this. So I thought, I know, let's just get in the process. And then I really enjoyed it. So have a look, because this was actually illustrated by Mel, our friend Mel Turner. Let's have a look here. And, um, and I'll show you. There, you see, look, it's really nice. It's really easy to do as well. Look. So get a piece of tracing paper and then we'll just, and they're all different. Of course they are. But there's a sort of a, you know, a trick. So we just deconstruct it. These are really nice. And then I, I also, I thought I got a little bit carried away with the, with the squiggly one as well, because that's quite nice too. I mean, it's a bit busy. You wouldn't put all these on one card, but isolated, they're really lovely. Like those two together, those two together there, really nice doesn't have to be a dandelion it's just a squiggle but the stalk became the word together you see so that's oh I got all arty then <laughs> this one kiss right keep it simple sexy <laughs> this one says simple harmony love it and nature I like that one too so so that's that's the tip is to that you can use the stalks to write your, your words. We've done that before with something else. And then the other thing I did with this one, which was quite interesting, was instead of just doing a single line, I started going to the front and the back. You see, so then that one got pushed to the back. So you will need uh, an eraser pencil for this one. If you've got an eraser pencil, that would be handy. Um, yeah? 
mine's gone. Oh, what's happened to mine? It's gone so long. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, pole dark, you old tinker. <laughs> I know. I thought you rogue. You're playing with fire, mate. That'd be better. There you go. Right, so we've got a, an, an eraser pencil pink. We've got a pencil. We've got a bit of trace, right, tracing paper. Come on, guys. Get your tracing paper out. <laughs> oh, this is what we did last time. Do you remember? That came out nice. And on they jogged to the next letter. We'll do these ones first. Okay. There's my tracing paper hidden under the D for dandelion. Are you enjoying this? This kind of... See, we're not doing great. Be... I think because we're not... We only meet once or twice a week. If we do something really challenging, it could take two months because it takes so long, doesn't it? Um, so I thought it's quite nice because you do one or two sessions and move on to the next letter. So we can already now be thinking about E4 what? E4. See, I straight away think of elephant. Do you as well? E for elephant. E, do you fancy drawing an elephant? Can't do another flower. I know, E for Edelweiss. E for egg. That wouldn't look very nice. E for elephant. E for... Come on. E for what? Clean and simple suits me fine. E for Easter egg. Well, well done, Jilly. Where was my head? E for Easter egg. Right, come on, piece of copy paper. Let's get going. Do you fancy this? I'll take it out of the book, though. If you're looking for good tracing paper, look no further. <laughs> there you go. This is a good gear. It's nice and smooth, and it's professional quality. <laughs> it is. It really is. And, yeah, and we've got it in stock. Haven't we, Jilly? I hope so. No, I'm saying that. Right, so let's have a look at this picture and let's just do it. It's really easy, okay? And we'll do elephant in an Easter egg. Jane Telford's on fire. Um, let's do different ones. This is just play, remember? This isn't, we're not making the card finished. We're just getting the our eye in, as they say, okay? Let's get our eye in, friends. Um, we've got a piece of tracing paper, we've got a pencil. What have we got here? HB. Okay, you ready for this? This is very easy. So we'll pop that one there. So what we're doing here, they're doing these ones. So what we're going to do is we're going to make a cup and then we're going to break the cup up into strips. Look, see it here. You're going to take, make the cup and then break it up into strips. So just make a cup, just for the hell of it. Let's just start by doing like that. Okay. So you like a big smiley face. And then find the middle. There's the middle there of the middle's good. Doesn't have to be, but let's get, let's be simple. Let's keep it simple. Right. And now we've got to decide the top. Are we coming? like that or are we gonna are we looking at it from the bottom more are we looking at it head on let's just do that just to keep it then it gives us an idea of of where to go with our with our strips so how many we're going to do well we'll play it by ear let's start at this end and let's just make a strip and you're going to go down there so as you get to the point you go like that all right and then we're going to make another one there so you leave a little gap Let's make another one. Go to the same point like that. That'll do. Now, what we'll do now is come over this side and let's make another one. So we're going to come to here. I need to move my paper around. So I want to come to there. So I'm going to come around like that and then go in there. Then I'll do the same again. So I'm making these. But there's a gap in between each one, isn't there? So that comes to there. That'll do. Now, this is where the art starts. If you look, you'll see that one of, on these, there's always one that isn't actually a strip. It, it sort of, it's like that. So this is easy enough. So what we'll do is, 
how many have we got here? Okay, we'll put, let's do one more here, like that. Okay, and then what I'm going to do is make another one there. This is that one. And I'm deliberately leaving a gap to put that in, like that. See, a bit close to that edge. But you could get away with it. It's, it's, it's the process, isn't it? Just let's take that one out again. And let's make that a bit thinner. So that's like that. And then that's like that. Right. Okay. Got it? Let's come in a bit tighter. It's really easy. So then the next thing we've got to do is join them up a bit. It doesn't have to be, it, it's, it makes it look really arty. If you were making a die from a practical point of view or a stencil, you have to join them up a little bit. They're called tangs in stencil or, or die world because otherwise these would just be little floppy bits, right? So what we're going to do, but it really adds something. Just, it really does add something to the design if you do this. So we're going to alternate, see? So that's the, you've got to kind of figure out You've got a piece of the dandelion, then you've got a gap, piece of the dandelion gap. Now here, we'll pop one there. See, so you, they're not all the way along. They're random like that. Put another one there. Right, so then this is, you've got to look at where, you, where you're actually putting your, your tangs or your joins, see? So that doesn't look like much of anything yet, but... Now let's take your eraser pencil, and now this is going to become one piece. So take that out, that out. So now you're going to lose the these bits. And when you do this, it starts to take shape because now suddenly it becomes a, a solid rather than... Here we go. It's interesting how something so simple can work so well. Mel knows what she's doing when she draws these things. See, so now that's not there, that's not there, that's not there. La, 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 that's gone, that's gone. There we go. See? And then the base, take that out there for a minute. Now let's have a look. So the base, this piece comes into this point there. Let's just get this, tidy this up a bit. This is this piece here as well. So that's that bit there. This is that bit. That's that bit. That's tidy. That's tidy. That's fine. Then this one, that joins to that. That one joins to that. And that one joins to that. And now this is going to be, right. So now we're just going to bring this down. And now you can decide how you want to there. Isn't that lovely? Simple. I say very simple, isn't it? Cannot see much on my phone, so use iPad. Is something going wrong? No. So now you see, when you start to, if you go back in over the top, you can see. So we've done a large one, only so that you can really see the purpose of it. There you go. Let's have a look. So we've got that one there, that one there, one on that side, two on that side. That will work. So it's less cluttered, right? So now let me see, I've got my tang there, tang there. And that's how we end up with a really good, there, like that. So you see, if you coloured this in, you'd end up 
pretty much with this. See, those are the tangs there. It's very nice, very nice indeed. So let's do a different, let's do it again. But this time, let's do a small one. And this time, instead of doing one straight across, let's, let's make a curve that way, okay? So let's do a smaller one and a different sort of shape. So let's do a shape like so. But this time, instead of going across like that, let's make a hat like that. You could, you know, we ought to do some faces. I think we're moving towards faces here. Right, so now there's the center or wherever the stalk's gonna be, I say about there. So now let's have a look. If we come in like this, I say we come in from both sides and then we start to bring these in. Yeah, like that. Now I'm thinking this is where, where do I wanna, do, I, do we wanna put one over a bit? I think we want one more of these like that. And then we'll put our, our arty one in the middle there like that. That looks good, okay? So what we've got to do now is again, we join it up. You may find, you have to concentrate, see, and that's the best part of this. Thanks to Mel for this particular design. But you can see if you, as soon as you do that, see how different it looks when you join them up. So there's one there. Now, how many tangs you use, it's up to you. I'm gonna put that one there. I'm gonna pop one there. I'm gonna pop one there, 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 and there. So that way, it's very higgledy-piggledy, it's random. Then you take your pen, your eraser pencil, see? When you do this, it changes it immediately. Are you enjoying this? Quite like this. There, that's 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 a nice shape. That one. That's a nice shape. I like that one a lot. It's more cuppy. Hmm? And then the bottom piece. So I want to maybe bring that one in that way. There, like that. You can turn you can turn it any way you want, can't you? There we are. And you know, this is the point. This is the whole point of what we're doing here. With everything else that's going on at the moment, like whizzing around my head, and it feels like it is literally whizzing around my head, okay? It's not me, though. It's, it's people that are important in my life, and they're all under the cosh at the moment there seems to be not all of them but a lot of them and and what's amazing is when you just doodle something as simple as this dandelion this funky dandelion right um just for that five minutes or 10 minutes or 15 minutes while you're thinking about which is the tang which is the column which where do i join it up is that too big blah, 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 blah. All those, it, I should have made the stalk thinner. I should have made the stalk longer. I should have curled the stalk that way. Let me get me a razor. Blah, blah, blah. All the time that you're working on an art project like this, you're not thinking at all about your circumstances or your friend's circumstances or your husband's circumstances. You're just focused on what you're doing. You're focused on what your hands are doing. You get out of your head and you get with your hands. And that's what we've said right from day one of the shack when we, when we went into lockdown. And it's no different now. That's what we're doing, you know. And whether we draw an elephant or a dandelion or a crown or we do, it doesn't matter. It is secondary, you know. This is a free doodle session. It, I don't, I don't guarantee that you're going to be a better drawer at the end of it. You, I reckon you will be though, judging by, by the quality of the art. Oh my God. When you see what Pat's folder looks like, I mean, she was a talent, whatever she lay her hands on, she was brilliant at it. But, um, 
when I see the progression. That's why I'm really looking forward to spending an evening with you and going back and using Pat's folder to just take a trip, get on the bus, get on the shack bus and go back and just have a look. And then maybe if we, what we could do is you could bring your folders as well, because I know a lot of you have got amazing folders. And then we could look at what you've done, you know, and compare, well, not compare. Compare is the robber of joy. Comparison is a robber of joy. We're not comparing. We're just having a look at what Pat did. And then we're going to look at what you did, you know. Um, but the point I'm making is you look at yours. You do you, boo, right? You look at yours. And you see how much you improved your game, your drawing game, your doodling game, quite aside from your sanity and what it did for your head right? You have a look, when you look back at your work, if you've been in the shack since day one, or even a year ago, or six months ago, it's like everything else. The more you do, it's like Elizabeth says, the more you do, the better you get, and the better you get, the more you want to do, you know? So, um, this, is, this is just a very simple drawing exercise, but it's so pretty. Look, isn't that a nice one? I like that one. That's a really good one. There you go. And then what, what I get a buzz off is when I take the, the, those bits out and then suddenly it has a completely different shape. So, so I could, you know, it's like this, isn't it? You can make that black or you could color in the background. So that's what we're going to do on Thursday is um, take these pieces and then um, color in, color in the back or the front. You know, let's take, let's do one more. Let's do one more now, right? Just a third one. But this time we'll use the stalk to write something. So have a think of a good word. Have a think of a good word that maybe begins with D. Freedom doesn't begin with D. That wasn't so good. But I was off on a, I was off on one at that point. Think, think of a good word while we're drawing our dandelion head. And then we'll, we'll have a go with a, a word that's great that begins with D, like Dave. <laughs> or uh, have a think. Come on. Teamwork makes the dream. Dream, dearest. Here we go. I knew you'd come up with something. Discover, love it, love it. There you go. Destiny. Perfect. I'm so glad you're here. Devoted. Nice. Okay. So we've got, let me write these down. Dream, destiny, devoted, delight, mm, discover, delight. Cool. There's loads of them. Darling. Oh, love it. Darling Dave. That would make a lovely one for a pair. Dedication. Brilliant. Divine. I love that word, Jane. Isn't that a nice word? Divine. Do you have favourite words? I, I find there are certain words that I really like. Right, I've written them all down. Let's do one more, do a third one. But this time we're gonna we're gonna draw it. You could do it. Do whatever you, you do you. You're gonna draw it, right? Really easy this is. Uh, you can go straight, you can do a jaunty left, a jaunty right. Look what look what Mel did. She did a jaunty right off the page. Okay, really f off at an angle. So whichever you fancy. Right, just do a third one, and then we'll we'll attach a stalk to it. So leave enough space for a stalk. So I'm going to go. I'm going to go. I'm going that way. I think with this one. Oh, actually, I'm going to go like that. Yeah. And then I think I'll go like that. So that's the angle I've got going. Actually, I think I might go push the boat out, come down that way a bit. So that way I'm going a little bit, it's a bit narrow on one side. See if that works. Right. So here we go. Center piece. I'm going to make my center. And then the words are going to come along there. Okay. One. I think it's best to do them one at a time like this. 
then do all the stripes and then you can't you can't really tell what's a what's a part of the flower and what's not what's the positive and what's the negative so we'll do another one there like that this is cool that's quite a fat one gray okay one more this way and then we could do oh what do i think a little tiny one i'm going to come down a bit now i'm being a bit adventurous here <laughs> and then we'll do that one like that yeah okay that'll do see it baffles me how easy this is but somebody had to draw this first and it wasn't me it was mel do you see what i mean so this is original artwork mel turner she had to come up with the idea so that we can just do it along like this is a piece of cake, isn't it? Look, there you go. So we've got that bit, got that bit. Yeah, take our eraser, knock out these bits. So we've got our basic shapes now, and now we're gonna go for the word. Have you decided which word you're gonna use? I think I'm gonna go for Devoted. I think I love de I love devoted. I think that's a good word. What? Which one are you going to head for? Hmm? Devoted. Divine. I like divine as well. Doodle. Darling. Yeah, it's nice, isn't it? So the reason I'm doing this is to reinforce the. So that if I transfer it to a card. There's a little bit of graphite, otherwise there would be no... No good though, how easy this is. Thank you, Mel. Right. So if you, were, if you fancy having a go... This is what the family were telling me when we were in Cornwall. Pat, okay, every, every day, this is especially during lockdown, but even on when we just went for Mondays, right, Every day, Pat, and you know, the Shackers know, every day Pat was there, wasn't she, religiously, which is why within a day of her getting ill, I knew there was something wrong because Pat wasn't in the room. It's like, really, this was the home group, right? And um, the family said that every day Pat would be, don't call Pat between 10 and 11 on a Monday or don't call Pat during lockdown between 10 and 11 any day because she's... She's with Barbara, she used to say. She's with Barbara, right? And then she would she would join in with us and she would draw whatever it was we were drawing and then she would take herself off to her art room, which I was privileged enough to see, her beautiful craft room, right? And she would take herself off to the craft room, which overlooks all the lovely fields at the farm. And then she would spend the rest of the day drawing, practicing, finishing, and take it to the next level. So a lot of her artwork, she was a real wordsmith, do you know? You know that, don't you? You see, and so she, what she did was, she would write poems, fabulous little poems and ditties and verses to describe when we went to Hawaii or when we went, it was just beautiful. And so I can't wait to show you that, you know? So if you wanted to, my point is, if you wanted to, for example, do what Pat did, and because you haven't got anything else lined up today, right? Then you could take this idea. Let's have a look. We're going to go. I'm just going to do a stalk now, right? You could take this idea, and you could you could transfer it, color it in. See what happens in your mind's eye if you color in the background, or you color in the actual image. You've got both choices here. Haven't you? If you want to, you could colour this bit in because I'm telling you, this is we. It's solid now. It's an outline, or you could colour in the background. You could make dots. You could make doodles. You could stipple. You could shadow. You could make it look three dimensional. You could draw, throw light through it so it looks three dimensional. There is so much potential here, but for now, I'm going to go. Cool. Diversity. 
Diversity is a good word. Diversity. What was I going to say? Discover, discovery. Dedication. Dedicate. What we're going to say? Devoted. Let's go for discovery. I'm going for discovery instead now. So I'm air drawing now. And the thing is, if you start down here, when I get to the Y, I can just go straight. Let's have a go. Right, don't overthink it. Right, discovery. See, don't overthink it. Now you can go back and you go, right, disc. See, the idea is to not let up. We've done this before, remember? There, discovery. So that now, I'm going to go again until I'm happy. Discovery. There. When you turn it round, there you go. And I'm going to bring that one in as well. It looks so cool. Look, doesn't it? So you could do that to all of these if you fancied. Freedom. That looked good as well. I like the word freedom. I just like the word freedom. Right, so there you go. Discovery. Isn't that nice? You can't really read it when it's like that, which is the point. It just looks crazy. And if you wanted to, right, I'm not saying that a dandelion has these leaves because I, well, actually, I know it doesn't. But if you wanted to, you could add a leaf. Uh, just a little flash. Just a little flash. Right, you could do that if you wanted to. Just saying. You could make dots up here. Just saying. There are so many different possibilities. What you could do, you could change it. You could do whatever you fancy. You do you. Look, there's so many different possibilities. Just doodle, have fun, enjoy it. And I'm going to go now because I, um, I've got a lot on. I've got to take Dave to the osteopath. And, um, yeah, there's just lots of little boxes to tick. But everything is good. I hope you enjoyed our session. And I shall, don't forget, Paul, tomorrow, uh, Tuesday, to 10, 10 o'clock. If Paul's not there, then you just have to deal with me. I'm sure I can, I can cover for Paul for a day. He covers for me so many times. So, so that's not a problem. It will definitely be on with, or with, with Paul or with me. Okay, Groovy Tuesday. Other than that, I shall see you on Thursday at 7 o'clock. I hope you enjoyed that. Nice to have your company, Bev. I really enjoyed this session. Thank you so much. Thank you for joining me. What would I do without you? I'd be talking to myself, which I actually do. Jilly, thanks as well, love. I don't know what I'd do without you either. Bye now. Bye-bye.